Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Do your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to book a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, welcome to my channel. Please do hit like, share, subscribe if you're new, and thank you for those of you returning. This is going to be a reading for Virgo's love, love life, whomever you may be connecting with um, or thinking about at this time. Okay. Ah, <laughs> you guys, there's the emperor. As per usual, showing up in your reading and the king of wands. Okay, this is the past position and the king of pentacles. Okay, wow. Present is the empress. Goodness, temperance, page of wands. All right, and the future is the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, wow, and the Six of Cups. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> wow, let's get some Romance Angel messages to see what the energy is here. I love messages for Virgo, all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the love messages? What does Virgo need to know going forward here? Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So Virgo, you might be taking a little time off or time out for yourself, disconnecting or desiring to disconnect from the world. But as you can see, this is two people together. So there may be somebody in your life who would like to um, spend some time with you, just you and they to retreat, to pull back and away from everything and everyone, all responsibilities, um, just everything uh, going on and just go into like a, I don't know, like a safe, quiet place where the two of you can just take a walk together, have a conversation, talk, just spend quality time together. Okay, somebody, there could be somebody who wishes for that with you or you wishing that with them or both of you. Okay, you also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like that card showed up yesterday. I believe there's a, a desire here to quality time spent together to expressing your loving feelings and emotions for one another. Okay. Um, romance, romance, romance. Okay. And oh, you have engagement. Wow. <laughs> Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There may be engagement coming and I definitely am seeing that in the future with someone. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a, there's a, some time. I feel like somebody wants to connect with you and spend some time with you um, to bring this love energy um, into this union. Okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? Um, don't sweat it, Virgo. That's what I'm just hearing. Just chill, relax, enjoy, be happy. It's divine timing. Allow things to just evolve. Okay, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Virgo, that's you. And you're kind of like whew, having a hard time accepting that um, somebody could actually be in a position to love you, all right? Maybe you feel like, oh, it's not going to work out, it's or it can't work out, okay? Or, you know, trying to control it by um, maybe sabotaging the relationship before it ends, because there might be a fear of it, things not working out. Okay, see, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You know what? I feel like you've got somebody here who really wants to be with you and express how they feel about you and, and bring this union into a higher level to ascend this connection. But you are here like having a hard time letting this happen on its own. Um, I feel like you might be trying to run away because you have a fear that um, your person's not attracted to you anymore or that there's not enough chemistry um, and you may be in this position of wanting to separate from this person as of right now, okay? Maybe there isn't any communication or anything going on at this time, but I feel like the message here is for you to have faith, 
okay? If this isn't anyone in particular, this could just be have faith in general, right? That uh, Think positively about your uh, love life in general um, to, to attract the love that you wish to have in your life. Okay, so the past energy, you've got the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So there's definitely an element of um, maybe two suitors in the past. Now let's take a look at this Emperor. So we do have Aries, Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I said Gemini. I don't know why. Sagittarius, Libra. Okay, I don't know why I said <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> there's nothing here. There's no card here. There's no swords it's all wands and cups so it's all passion and love a passion and emotions okay very strange maybe some of you have gemini placements or you're connecting with a gemini but let's take a look at what this emperor in the past represents okay piscean energy so this emperor it comes across to me as someone who's um very or was very open to seeing things differently or seeing the light or seeing things in your from your point of view okay in the past and we also have the moon okay i feel like this emperor also was kind of like trying to see past their own emotions and their own fears all right um in the past this person probably did a lot of self-deception usually the emperor is not an emotional person may have some elements of um, emotion to him but I feel like this person may have had mostly the elements of fire and earth okay where this person was very grounded but very passionate all right um, the emotion I feel like with this person kind of scared them a little bit in the past how they really like the depth of their feelings for you okay um I do feel like this person, the the two elements that they presented, one being of earth in the past was a very resourceful, domesticated, solid, practical, someone who was like a good investor with money, and also someone who was a bold, powerful leader, very charming and courageous, a bit feisty, self-assured, and confident. Now, they may have just presented these things outwardly, but what's missing here was their communication, skills the way they there was a lack of communication and a lack of emotion right um this person had very deep emotions very deep and with that moon energy i feel like um this person maybe tried to cover them up okay i i feel like in the past this person um really didn't reveal much in, um, or gave you much clarity about how they felt about you deep deep deeply I'm not talking about just saying things here and there I mean like deeply because I feel like this person didn't even know and and once in a while they would become enlightened here's the Gemini card the magician okay um, I feel like their intention with you in the past was to really manifest something with you here um, try to turn um, you know, their action, like, it was kind of like they, they, it's like they sat there and they knew that they needed to take action to try to um, create and turn their visions with you into reality. Um, it's just the emotional connection and the communication was a bit off. The emperor is here again. Okay. Okay. This person might have been the father of your children in the past if you have children um but it feels to me like they they try to just stay in this boss up position this person tried to like say hey everything's fine i'm cool i'm good you know um i got my money right and um uh, like i i take action in my life and i'm bold and stuff but there was a lack of there was a lack of emotional vulnerability here and that might be why now this person is like seeing that that was what was missing in this relationship and i feel like if they could get you alone and if there could be some time with just you and them that they would um definitely try to come forward and express how they feel about you but i don't know if something's holding them back at this time or held them back in the past 
But in the, you know, moving forward, I feel like that's actually going to come about. Now, the present energy is the Empress, Temperance, and the Page of Wands. So you will get a message from this person, but it will be, I feel like your person is kind of like, all right, just waiting for the right time to communicate with you, right? They know that you are their other half. You're presenting as the Empress. Some of you could be on the cusp of Virgo Libra, but you and they, they know that you are their match. Okay, the Emperor and the Empress go together. They know that you are their match. Let's take a look. Look, the King of Wands, King of Wands is here twice. The Emperor is here twice. So there's definitely fire element here. Okay. Um, there's times when your person, like in the present, may feel like they're not, up to par to you and they may be just really trying to get to a place where they can actually believe that they're worthy of you even though they do feel that they're worthy um there's something about you they want so much to impress upon you that you know they do feel like you are their perfect match and i feel like they're going to express that to you going forward um, in the right time though, okay, the shadow side popped out. Yeah, this person may be currently dealing with some addictions or, you know, that's devil energy. Um, maybe some obsessions or they have like some urges or things that they're trying to heal at this time because temperance does represent harmony and healing, balance, self-control and moderation. And I feel like this person is trying to like self-moderate, um, things that get them in trouble, things that they've done or uh, the way they've lived their life, you know, they may be easily tempted in a lot of ways. And I feel like this person is trying to push back on that, you know, just like, okay, not become so obsessive, even with you or other things in their life They're, I just feel like they're trying to like balance and just take it easy here but there is communication coming and it's fiery and it's passionate communication coming from this person this person's quite smitten with you virgo they feel um that there's potential for growth here and i feel like they may want to communicate and um talk about traveling or um doing something together spending some time together yep here's karma this is judgment reconciling with you and opening up they want to talk about this energy here, retreating and expressing your love to each other and opening up. This person wants to, you know, they want to get engaged. They want to marry you, Virgo. This person get is in this position of gaining their courage to come towards you and bring this to you in the future. Okay, just let me tell you, we have Capricorn as well and we have Scorpio energy. In the future, here comes the Knight of Cups. There's definitely a proposal, Virgo. With the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups, this person, you're all they think about. This is a soulmate card, the Six of Cups. This is an energy of like, they're, they're thinking about the past. They want to reconcile with the past with you, um, do things differently with you. Let's take a look here. You're a wish come true for them, Virgo, and they're going to let you know that. And they're going to show that by way of this proposal that comes in with the Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You want to offer a brand new opportunity. You are, you are, there's no one compares to you, Virgo, for them, okay? I mean, sure, there's others out there, but you are their soul. You are the one who, um, when they think of you, you're the one who has that, um, you know, that innocence. You know, you're the one that has that kindness and that generosity and that sincerity that they need and that they love, okay? Um, I feel like they just had a difficult time really like going within and seeing how they feel and checking to see what their true emotions are. I feel like this person just lived in a shadowy place with their emotions, like dark uh, suppression of the emotions. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is here with the Nine of Cups. How to invest, what to invest. You know, they wish to invest in this connection going forward um seven of pentacles energy that's like they're very patient okay and they're they'll wait for the right time you know to move things forward to be successful okay um they'll take their time with you um they're not going to push they're not going to rush this person just wants to 
Uh, there may be an apology or um, in the future them coming forward, their apology may feel like something like they truly love you. Um, they want to be with you. They want to give to you. They want to make you happy. They want to please you. Yep, Three of Cups energy here. Again, two reunion cards, two reconciliation cards. Okay. Um, connect with you. Apology for maybe others that were in um, involved um, in their life while maybe seeing you. Because the Three of Cards can be a card of like socializing you know i feel like they will tell you that um nobody meant nobody else meant anything to them they were more like casual friendship type acquaintances um but this person also views you as someone who is in their inner circle someone who is very supportive of them okay and i feel like this person needed that virgo you have such a kind heart in so many ways, you know, you're very sincere and you you always seek to help and improve. Um, and that's really all you ever want is the best for others. Okay, and the best for your relationship and your partner. Um, you're a sign of service. So there are many nurses uh, or people in the medical field who are Virgos. Um, many people in, you know, volunteer positions. Okay, how this person feels about you, um, passion. Try something you've never done before. This person is definitely gonna come forward and do something they've never done before with you or in a relationship or in love in general, okay? Okay, this person regrets lying to you or withholding their truth from you. This person wants to be with you, Virgo. That's what this card is, the I want you card. All right. Leap of faith. This person is taking a leap of faith here. Um, they don't know how things are going to turn out, but they know how they feel and they've recognized and acknowledged their feelings. Um, I don't feel like you need to do anything. This person, like I said, is going to go slow, take their time to get to know you and allow you to get to know them better. And blocks are being removed here. All right, this person, I, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, there was an element of fear there. They didn't want to be, either they blamed you or they blamed others. This person did not want to take accountability um, because they knew that they had temptations or urges or things that pulled them away. Okay, um, if this person left you, um, it just feels like um, it wasn't something that they truly wanted to do. Okay. They couldn't tell you face to face how they truly felt, Virgo. Okay. Sometimes I hear your voice in my head. I don't know how that's possible, but this person, you know, if you had communication with them, they can still hear your voice. They know the sound of your voice. They know the sound. It's almost like a song. It's like a sweet song. Um, all right, let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. So I would say there's communication coming for sure. These blocks are being removed. There's an opening up of expression of love and deepening a bond here. Okay. They hope that you can forgive them one day for the decisions or the choices they made that didn't include you, I'm hearing. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, this person probably put it on a lot of fronts. Um, they pre like pre their presentation was, no, I'm cool. Everything's cool. I'm good. And that might have looked very attractive to you at first. But I think you saw through that. You probably are the only person that came close to seeing that because I feel like this person had a lot of blocks up. And it feels like um, you saw through that and you uh, still love them anyway whatever they were trying to hide, their insecurities. I want to feel that way again, okay? They really just want to have that those loving feelings with you again, okay? And I feel like they know that the only way really um, to do that is to open up. They have regret. They do. They have a regret. There is an element here that this person feels like they may have lost you or that it's done for good, okay? Okay. Um, I love you unconditionally. I feel like that's what they're opening up to, that you can't do anything wrong, Virgo, that no matter what, that you might even beat yourself up, but even within all of your imperfections, this person loves you anyway. What did I just say? You came closer than anyone, Virgo. So this person does feel as if oh, 
No one else was ever able to penetrate to the depths of their emotions and their heart the way you have. And I feel like this person is like beginning to feel and see that. And I truly believe there's going to be communication. They want to come and spend a little quality time with you to tell you how they feel, to express their love, um, to hopefully you will um, express that back to them and that you will, um, you both, I see this person wants to ascend um, and, and go in deeper with you and, and make more of a commitment to you uh, or make a commitment to you, even possible engagement or marriage, okay? You're, the, you're it for them, Virgo. You, and they're coming to see this. You may have known this all along, but there's a part of you that's just like, I don't know, I haven't heard from them. I think that it's done. I don't think it's going to work out. We're in separation perhaps now, or maybe we should separate. Just wait. I think things are going to shift and turn around once you get this message from this person. All right, Virgo. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. We've hit 5,000 subscribers. Yay. So thank you all for your support, and I will see you guys um, very soon. Take care.